Playing for the UWM Panther Rugby Club often means late nights, with practices starting as late as 10 p.m. However, the team takes what they can get. The team gathers at the Klotchy Center for another late night, lacing up their shoes, warming up their passing, taking a lap around the gym, and stretching. Coach Mark Shank first started playing rugby in the 80s, coming from a background in wrestling. He coaches his son, John, along with the rest of the team. Rugby is basically a cross between football and soccer. Um, soccer was the original game. Rugby actually came from soccer. Um, as They got tired of always kicking the ball, never running with the ball. So it's a combination of football and soccer. Pringle 44. Right there, it's perfect. Like football, a kickoff is used to start the match and continue the game after a try, similar to a touchdown, is scored. Players can then advance the ball by running it forward, punting it, or passing it backwards to a teammate. When a player is tackled, a ruck is usually formed. The tackled player must then set the ball down and release control of it. The offsides line and the gate is determined by where the tackled player sets the ball. A ruck is formed when a player from either side takes position over the ball on the gate. It's the hardest thing for you guys. You're going to pass and follow. You pass. The person that passes is going to be the guy that has to ruck over. You pass it can then be contested by opposing players who attempt to drive the other team over the ball through the gate. Play is resumed when one team picks up the ball. Rules may differ slightly between the two versions, Rugby Union, or 15s, and Rugby League, or 7s. The 15th season, you play with 15 players on a team, you play two 40-minute halves. It's really a slower game, it's a more physical game. Seven-man rugby is you play two seven-minute halves, you have two teams of seven against each other. It's really a speed game and a finesse game. Um, it's actually more tiring playing sevens than it actually is playing fifteens. Sevens is just about where I can find an opportunity. Yeah, be patient. In college rugby, the fifteen season is played in the fall and the seven season is played in the spring. The team is currently preparing for sevens. So that's all as far, literally as high as you have to go is three feet less than that. All right. Most of it's going to be timing. So. You guys time it up. Chris, Michael, you stand right here ready to do that front man jump. <laughs> and let's just see if they can time it better than what you guys can. Uh, the team has been practicing two days a week, really focusing on conditioning, focusing on ball skills, passing, making sure that we're getting that in shape. Then also working on our strategies. What are our different strategies as we're going into the different uh, games? We had a very good 15 seasons. We have some very, very good backs. When you're playing sevens, you really need to have a very strong uh, group of players that are backs, players that are quick and have good ball skills, and we have a very good group of that. So I'm very optimistic about our season going forward. Panthers on three, one, two, three, Panthers! Season will start April 14th and run until May 5th. Following spring break, practices will be held from 5 to 7 p.m. at the McKinley Marina. For Media Milwaukee, I'm Henry Morgan.